Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome, welcome to day four already, day four of our yoga challenge, our daily yoga morning challenge. How are you? How are you doing? It's already day four, I can't believe it, time flies. <laughs> Okay, I hope you're, you're feeling well in your body, I hope you're feeling energized and let's get started straight away finding a comfortable seated posture. You can always sit on top of something, on top of a block or bolster, a roll blanket so that you're sitting comfortably with a straight spine, your shoulders away from your ears and you can close your eyes if that's comfortable for you or you can keep them open, whatever whatever feels best for you to focus the awareness inside to take a, a few breaths to fully arrive in, in this space in this practice so taking a deep breath in through the nose we exhale through the nose and one more time inhaling through the nose Exhale through the nose. And today, in our practice, we will cultivate presence. Presence inside our bodies. So often you're practicing yoga, but it's just the body, the mind is somewhere else. But today, whenever we feel the mind is wandering, thinking about breakfast or to-do list or whatever is coming just gently very gently lovingly bring your awareness back into your body so that you fully inhabit your body you fully bring your awareness inside to your body to the sensations knowing that where attention goes energy flows so that's very very powerful we have that power to focus our attention inside in the body that will make energy flow there so let's take a big inhale to seal that intention for the practice inhaling deeply through the nose we exhale through the mouth. And you can gently open your eyes if you have them closed. We will come to lie on the back. I'm finding a way to lie on the back. I hope you can still see me. Yeah, okay. So bending the right knee towards the chest, we keep the left leg extended on the floor. We hug the knee to the chest, the right knee, keeping the left leg very active, extended, breathing into the belly, giving a massage to, to the belly through the breath. Now we are going to extend our right leg up, so trying to make a, like a 90 degree angle with both legs, if it's not 90 degree it's fine it's okay because the back of the legs are still a bit stiff from sleep We're breathing there for a couple of breaths and we slowly exhale bringing the right leg all the way down on the floor we keep it active and extended and we change to the other side so bending the left knee hugging the left knee to the chest, keeping the right leg active on the floor, breathing into the belly, breathing into that hip, that left hip flexor. And we extend the left leg up, noticing if there's any difference between this leg and the, the right leg. There probably is. For me, this side is much, much stiffer. And breathing, see if you're holding tension somewhere else in the shoulders or in the jaw and soften it. And as we exhale, we slowly 
bring the left leg all the way into the floor keeping the core muscles active and we bend the knees we roll over to the right and we come to seated finding a comfortable seated posture we bring the hands on the shoulders and we bring the elbows together so we make big circles as if we were drawing a circle with our elbows and we change direction and back to the center and we're coming into all fours for a few rounds of cat cow so the wrists are under the shoulders the knees are under the hips as you inhale look up and arch the back and as you exhale round the back and inhaling looking up making sure you're not forcing the neck exhaling rounding and keep going at your own pace moving with your breath and you can introduce any different movement if you feel like moving maybe side to side making a C shape with your column making it your own unique cat cow and we find our way back to neutral to a neutral tabletop position and we extend the right arm to the front and the left leg back so opposite arm to opposite leg and here we're going to bring the knee to the elbow as we exhale and as we inhale we come back knee to elbow inhale extend knee to elbow extend knee to elbow extend and last one knee to elbow and extend and back to the center and we do the same to the other side extending the left arm to the front right leg opposite arm and opposite leg and we bring knee to kiss the elbow extending knee to elbow extending inhale exhale knee to elbow knee to elbow and the last one knee to elbow and back to the center i'm already sweating <laughs> it's very very humid here in madrid and from the tabletop we will come into the downward facing dog and start to pedal the feet warming up the back of the legs breathing deeply and as we inhale we raise the right leg up to bring the right knee to the right elbow inhaling extend the leg up exhale the knee to the nose rounding the back inhale extend the leg back and exhaling knee to the opposite elbow or biceps and inhaling extend the right leg back and back to the center back into down dog taking a few deep breaths exhaling through the mouth and again inhaling through the nose exhale through the mouth and to the other side inhaling extend the left leg up exhale knee to the same side elbow inhale extend the leg back exhale knee to the nose round the back inhale extend 
exhale, knee to the opposite elbow, inhale, extend back, back into downward facing dog, and we bring the knees, and we come into child's pose for a moment, to take a break so you can open the knees as wide as the mat, bringing the forehead on the mat, finding your way to a deep breath, finding your way into your body, into the sensations in your body. Focus on being aware from the inside. Observe your body from the inside. And as we inhale, we come back into all fours and into the downward facing dog, keeping the fingers spread wide apart, pushing the heels back. And we come into the plank here. So always, always the option to bring the knees on the floor. You don't have to support yourself on, on the arms all the time, keeping a strong core. And we exhale back into downward facing dog. And again, inhaling, coming into the plank, keeping a strong core, pushing the earth away with the hands. And we bend the forearms to come into the forearm plank, opening chest, a couple of breaths here, and we come all the way to lie on the belly for the sphinx posture. So you can adjust the height according to your lower back. If you bring the elbows a bit more forward, there will be less pressure on the lower back. If the elbows are directly under the shoulders, there will be more pressure, so you can adjust according to your lower back. Here we can do a few movements with the neck, looking back towards the feet, gently, and to the other side, looking towards the feet. And one more time, looking back over the shoulder and looking back over the other shoulder, back into the Sphinx. And here we will press on the forearms and on the tops of the feet to raise our hips and look underneath the belly. And coming back to the center, to the Sphinx. Again, inhaling, raise the hips, pressing the tops of the feet, pressing the forearms, and back on the belly. A couple more times, inhaling, looking, and back to the Sphinx. And we do this one last time, inhaling, raising the hips, pressing on the tops of the feet, exhaling back into the Sphinx. And we're going to push ourselves gently into the child's pose. Again, to take a break, bringing the forehead on the mat, breathing deeply and coming back, coming back to your body. Observing the body from the inside, bringing attention, bringing awareness, presence. And inhale, coming back into all fours, into downward facing dog. We look between the hands and we step one foot and the other one forward between the hands, inhaling half lift. You can bring the hands on the floor or on the shins. Exhaling, fold forward. Again, inhaling, straight spine, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. And we come up. Strong legs all the way up, exhaling, release, 
Now we're coming to Utkatasana, the, the chair posture. So bending the knees, we inhale, extend the arms up. First we come into a twist, so palms together, and we will hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee, coming into Utkatasana twist, Parivrita Utkatasana, pressing the palms against each other and making sure both knees are on the same line. Inhaling back to the center, back into Utkatasana and twisting to the other side, hooking the left elbow on the outside of the right knee, pressing the palms together, looking up and back into the chair, into Utkatasana and we keep sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, little bit more, little bit more until we come to the floor and into the Navasana. So here you can keep your knees bent, extending the arms forward, you can extend the legs, opening the chest, making sure you are not rolling on the sacrum but you are on the sit bones, keep opening the chest, couple more breaths, deeply present, fully present in your body and slowly release. Well done, well done. Coming to Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together, pressing the soles of the feet against each other. We hold the feet with the hands, we clasp the hands. Maybe staying here is already enough stretch for your hips. You can stay here or you can fold forward, pushing the sternum forward. We keep cultivating that presence inside, that awareness in your body the sensations. And as we inhale, we slowly come back to the center, finding our comfortable posture we will finish our practice coming back to our intention, to our presence, being the silent observer of our bodily sensations, observing the body from the inside, bringing awareness, whatever it's needed, bringing presence. And let's bring also that presence that we cultivate in the mat, let's bring it out of the mat and in the world. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, inhaling, raising the arms, exhaling, releasing the hands back on the knees, gently opening the eyes if you have them closed. And if you want to stay in Shavasana to lie for a moment. It was an intense class, so if you need a, a Shavasana or a, a restful posture to integrate our practice, please go ahead, take your time. Thank you for your efforts, it was wonderful. Thank you for being there, for your kind attention, and I wish you a lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow at uh, 8 a.m. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>